Your life is probably fine. You probably have a family you love, a job that pays the bills well, and a nice place to come home to each day. I'm sure you have enough to eat, know where you'll sleep tonight, and have hope for a brighter future. Not everyone has this. 5.5 million South Sudanese people do not have enough food to fill their bellies tonight. Over 1 million have no bed to sleep in tonight, having fled their homes, escaping to refugee camps in northern Uganda. As South Sudan continues to be ravaged with war and famine, more and more South Sudanese join the hopeless in refugee camps. Normal life becomes an impossible mountain to climb. They watch their lives, future, and hope fade away into a dark, drowning sea of tears, suffering, and pain. What if there was a way to free a struggling mother from the shackles of fear and poverty? What if there was a way for an orphan child to be held close, satisfied and safe in the arms of a loving family? Is there a way their hollow, aching bellies can be filled to turn the impossible into possible? For a people ravaged by war and poverty, it's hard to see a way to a brighter future. Emergency aid is needed immediately, but long-term food security is the true solution. Hi, I'm Brian Dick a Manitoba grain producer. I've spent time helping in agriculture in Africa and I see ways to help the people of South Sudan and Northern Uganda have food security, peace and hope in life. There is little industry and the work of farming is done in hot conditions under the African sun. The work is laborious, backbreaking, and a one acre garden plot is about all one family can manage. As said in their own words, our society has progressed in many ways, but in agriculture, we are still in the Stone Age, working with hand tools. Entry-level mechanization that is cost-effective is the way to decrease the labor needed to prepare the fields for planting and for harvesting. North American farmers understand this. We rely on our machines to do the heavy work. It's our dream to give the average African farmer a hand up by introducing machines like the walking tractor that are simple in their design and function, yet revolutionary in labor saving. Their pain is real, and we have been given much. So it's time to give back. Every day that passes, the light of another starving soul fades away. But the sooner we're equipped, the more lives can be saved and hope reignited. Now is the time to link arms with Africa and help bring this miracle to the millions of South Sudanese refugees just fighting to survive the next day. Thank you for joining us in this mission of hope and reaching across the globe to touch the lives of the helpless and hurting people of South Sudan.